all I got. Five gallon bucket and just a skiff on the other bucket. Now let's go to grinding. Dinner's not quite ready yet, but I'm going to snitch one. Well, that's pretty amazing. That's the first bite of the grain that I've grown from start to finish. Tell you what, it tastes like an eggy pancake. Needs a little bit of jam or jelly. <laughs> it makes me want to cry. It's awesome.
Hey guys, thanks for watching another Simple Ground video. This experience, um, raising my own grain and, and cutting it by hand, going through the whole process, it's been awesome. And man, it's taken all day um, to finish this project up. It's late at night, so I snuck out to the shop to, to finish off this video. Taking grain from a seed, growing it, and taking it back to the seed form, grinding it up and eating it, man, I think this is what life is about. You know, anybody who's watching this video and missed the first one, make sure you go check it out because it's a full experience. It is so cool. Um, next year, I should take you guys through the planting process, clear through to the end. Where it was my first time, I learned a few things. Um, you know, the old timers had a, a cradle that they attached to their scythe to lay the grain over as they, as they cut. That's definitely worthwhile to have. Um, I made it do because my, my patch was so small, but uh, I'm definitely going to look into making one before my next harvest. Uh, what else did I learn? Uh, making the sheaves was much easier than I thought it would be. And it didn't necessarily have to be as green as I thought it would be to, to fold it all up and, and you know tie it together. But if I were to have harvested the grain just a touch earlier, or handled it maybe a touch more gently, I would have had more in the end. I was a little surprised that I only got, uh, you know, a bucket and a little bit at the bottom of it. Haven't weighed it, so I don't know how many bushel it would have been. But uh, I know my process was very inefficient and I needed to work on efficiencies. And part of it was dryness and it just fell out uh, while handling it, fell out of the heads. So, you know, things to work on, things to get better at. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, you know, thrashing it and winnowing it, you definitely need more wind than I expected. Um, and thrashing was easier than I expected. The heads fell right out. So it was separating the chaff from, from the good grains. Um, that, was, that was maybe the harder part. But in the end, it cleaned up really nice and it looks very beautiful. Grinding it turned out as good as I expected. And as I expected, the fresh grain that I grew at home tasted much better than, than the stuff that sat. Uh, I've only had rye flour. I haven't ever ground rye before and the rye flour has always been so bitter to me. And this um, was still bitter. It's rye, it's still rye. But it wasn't nearly as bad as I expected. I expected it to be much more bitter. And, you know, I would do this experience again. I, I would totally do this over and over. Uh, I, I always thought people skipped the, the grains because it's just so much easier to do on a large scale. And while it's easy to do on a large scale, I think it's doable and I think it's worth your time. Look into growing a grain yourself. Anyway, I'll end this video. Uh, that long spiel is maybe a little too long. Thanks as always for watching. If I've earned your uh, subscription, thank you very much. Don't forget to leave comments. I, I've responded to as many as I can and I've responded to most of them. A lot of you haven't followed me on Facebook and Twitter. I do Facebook better than Twitter. So if you haven't followed me yet, now's a good time. Uh, look me up. Tell me which other uh, social media you'd like me on. I'm only doing Facebook, Twitter, and, and uh, YouTube. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Until next time, thanks for taking this journey with me on Simple Ground.